Greetings friends, this is Hamilcar with Hamilcar Gaming, and I'm here with my first video, which is going to be an introduction video to myself, Hamilcar, and a set of video series that I plan on having on my YouTube channel. First of all, a little bit about myself. I've been playing some sort of a strategy game or role-playing game since I was about 10 years old. And so for the last 20 years, I have been a player in eight separate campaign settings, and I have been the game master, or dungeon master as you may want to call it, in seven different settings. Now these games spanned everything from Dungeons & Dragons 2nd edition all the way through 5th edition, as well as the age system, the fate system, and some uh, modern 20 games. But as you can see, role-playing is very near and dear to my heart. And so as part of this channel, my plan is to have four different series on role-playing. The first one is going to be called Be a Better Player. And in this series, I'm going to talk about uh, issues that I see that, that players sometimes have when first working on a character. A lot of this information will be focused very similarly on how you might design a character as part of a story. So I'll go through character generation, how to generate ideas, and also some of the good habits in role-playing and some of the not-so-desirable habits in players, and make sure that we're really role-playing for the right reasons. The second series is going to be how to be a better game master. I feel like I have a lot more information on this because I believe that a lot of game masters decide the, the pace and the tone of the games they play. And if they make sure to focus on the right things, then they can create an experience for not just themselves but their players that's going to be highly enjoyable. Additionally, I'm going to go through my methods for planning uh, out an adventure and um, different tricks of the trade that I've learned as part of GMing to kind of add some pizzazz but also to give versatility to your campaigns as well as structure. The third series is going to be an instructional series on how to use the Roll20 app system. Now this is the main system I've been using to roleplay my last three uh, GM sessions and play two of them. The amazing thing about this system is that it lets me play a tabletop role-playing game without having to actually get together with people. Now back in college and high school that wasn't so much of an issue. I really enjoy the social aspect of role-playing. But as I got older it became harder and harder as friends would move away and we'd have long distances or you start having uh, um, responsibilities that keep you from being able to travel as much as you'd want. And so luckily this system will allow you to be able to play across distance with your friends. And I actually think a lot of the tools and macros and some of the advanced settings that you can use in it actually streamline the game and kind of take out some of the clunky math and um, and things that really kind of hurt the pacing and let a party focus on the story, which I think is the most important part. And the final uh, video channel that I plan on working on is actually going to be related to a new campaign that I'm going to do with a group of players. Um, it's entitled Ekthrosis Awakens, that's the title of the campaign. We'll be playing it through Roll20, and we're going to go through character generation and some character establishment um, things that I, I really like to do. And I'll be able to give a lot of practical examples of not just my planning, but also hopefully maybe some streaming or, and or highlights from our actual sessions. Well, I hope you enjoy it.